hey everybody it's got Omato back for another minecraft video hope everybody's having a great day guys i'm having a great day in this video i'm going to show you how to create a borderless minecraft window okay and how that differs from a full screen window this is a borderless window right here but it's a uh, full screen but i'm able to access other apps in the background and, and a good example is like when i hit my volume controls up and down okay uh, then that'll come over the top now in a regular minecraft full screen window that you do from f11 or whatever that won't work all right so when you go into the background in an f11 window it'll either shrink down or it will uh, collapse depending upon the version of minecraft i've seen it have different uh a, a different behaviors according to the version of minecraft but a full screen borderless window you can just easily go into the background and put anything that you want on top of it okay and see it on top of the window in the background uh, so you know if i had a game going like you could see that application which was sticky notes went into the background when i did it but the window didn't collapse so i could see it over the top now if you have an application like uh a window on top then you can make it stay on top you can make any window that you want stay on top so i could have some notes and stuff along the edge a very cool thing that you can do is you can make a full uh, a little video uh, a picture in picture video all right so a quick trip to quick tip to do that on chrome is in any youtube player um you right click twice all right and you kind of got to do it fast it's kind of a weird like timing uh, let's try to get it Fast. the video has to be paused there it is right there so it's kind of weird because if you right click it'll trigger the video but you kind of got to get in between it to hit picture and picture all right but there there is um like extensions for chrome and stuff that are available uh, as well to do this but it is built into the youtube player if you didn't know now i can move this window around anywhere i wanted and so there's a, a little playing video now the only thing about it is i can't like scroll into it and, and let me in fact go ahead and go back to chrome uh quickly so that i can get rid of the volume on it i'll go ahead and mute it uh but i have to navigate through the video on the uh, chrome player you can't do it you can start and stop and if you have media keys uh, then you can you know hit play with your media key and control it that way I uh, can't really back up or anything but you can pause and whatever if you have media keys and that'll pop up there so I mean guys that is awesome to be able to like watch videos while you're uh, playing Minecraft maybe you're um, watching a tutorial like here's one of my uh, charcoal generator tutorials or you're um, just afking and you want to um, have some you know distraction in the background or whatever so that is a super cool way to do it and it doesn't require any additional software for youtube to do this however this floating sticky note uh, does require more software then then with this window if you want to put it back into youtube you just hit that button and it'll go back into the window okay but this is a thing like again i'll show you the software that i have for that which is a win on window on top all right window window top here and i'll leave a link in the description for that uh, but the software that i'm using to accomplish the full screen borderless is a application by that flash cat called borderless minecraft leave a link in the description for it all right and what it does uh let me go ahead and take this window out of stay on top and you can see i could set transparency of that window with the window top and all that okay so with borderless minecraft it's a regular windows.exe so it's only for windows guys uh, but you get it from the release section here on the github page so just go to the releases tab and download the latest one and it'll give you a borderless minecraft.exe okay and when you open it it'll show a list of your minecraft windows all right now a cool thing about that is that if I have one, more than one version of Minecraft open, let's see, let me switch over to MultiMC and just get another MultiMC instance going. Uh, one thing I do want to mention about uh, this is that if you've gone in F11 full screen before, uh, you may need to change some settings. So if you have Optifine under the options menu, 
uh, you can turn off full screen down. I don't have actually Optifine in this one, but you can make sure this full screen off here. This is the regular uh, Minecraft. It's under the other tab in Optifine. Be sure that's off, guys. Otherwise, your uh, Minecraft will launch in F11 full screen, and you don't want that, all right? But uh, back in Borderless Minecraft now, see, I can refresh the list of windows, and it'll show me the two different Minecraft windows. And I can choose which one I want to do, and I can say go borderless on that window. Now it makes that one borderless. All right, so each one of these two is borderless. And that is impossible with regular uh, full screen Minecraft to have two borderless windows like that, or two full screen windows, uh, because it takes over the whole monitor. So that is super cool to do that, guys. Then if you want to restore it, just select the window that you want to restore, and it'll put it down to its regular size. Now you have some advanced features as well that you can go in and you could set a position, uh, X and Y, or you could set a size. So if you don't want it to completely cover your screen, maybe you want you know some side gadgets or something along the side of it. I did show you how to put stuff on top, uh, but if you just want something along the side, uh, you could do it. Another excellent uh, use for this application is for speed runners. You use a speed running timer, uh, like from live split or something like that. I'll, I'll do future videos about that, but you could put a timer on top of, of the window. Okay. Uh, so it's super easy to use and I definitely recommend this. Now I'll give you one more option that I've played with that is also nice that can be configured to do it automatically with specific windows is one called window borderless gaming. I'll leave a link in that, but the problem with that is it doesn't appear to allow apps on top of it in the same way that uh, this borderless minecraft does this borderless minecraft will again just let you put apps right on top of it um you know if i did something like for instance and you could see like here i am with minecraft full screen i'm using the power toys gadget uh, like calculator for instance you know you maybe you were wanting to do some calculations or whatever uh Normally you can't keep this on top of, but with window on top here, I can do it. So, you know, I, of course I'd want to shrink it down and all that kind of stuff, but then I could have a calculator on top of uh, Minecraft. And, and again, I'd, I'd want to adjust it to better fit the screen to not take over the whole screen and all that. But to watch videos when you're AFTing or when you're doing a tutorial for timers, for different note-taking applications, for your social media widgets like Discord or something like that that you're wanting to follow Discord chat. Uh, there's just all kinds of uses for it, guys. And it's really super, super cool to be able to do that. So again, I recommend this app, Borderless Minecraft, uh, but you could also check out the Borderless Gaming. I, I, I try different apps to see which ones work better. Uh, if I find some unique features of Winter borderless gaming i'll go over a video specifically on that but for this particular use i recommend borderless minecraft all right so just a quick um side note on the video here i'm going to go ahead and show you what happens when it's in f11 now one thing about this is that if you've gone into f11 all right and you have the borderless minecraft open uh it may not recognize the window again you may have to quit the app borderless minecraft and quit minecraft before it would recognize the app again all right but uh i'll close borderless minecraft for right now uh by the way it's a it's a system tray app that'll go into your system tray uh well maybe not maybe not maybe it's just a regular app i don't remember but uh let's go ahead and just show you the difference between full screen all right just because some people get confused by that about what borderless window means all right so we'll just go into regular uh, F11 full screen, uh, uh, which it, I've got my scaling set, by the way, also. Uh, this is an interesting thing about that software too, is right now I have my display scaling set to 150. Uh, and the newer versions of Minecraft want to try to honor that big scaling of my full resolution. But with the window borderless, I can get into a smaller one. But anyway, with F11, don't worry about it being full screen right now. If I switch into the background, then that app uh, goes away. I, I can't put anything on top of it. It's impossible 
to, to do it because it'll shrink in the background or in some cases, uh, this one is just going into the background. If I can see the preview of it, yeah. It's just going into the background. In some versions of Minecraft, it seems to shrink, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and kill this because I can't get to the screen. So very, very cool application, guys. I hope that was useful to you. If this video is useful to you in any way, and it is, guys, it is. Take just that moment to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel, guys. It helps keep me motivated making these videos and sharing with you the stuff that I learn. So this is Scott Omato. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.